settings, the people will make the score. So don't really like that. I mean, it happens at least with the world, that is like, like, they have to hold the game. Like, sometimes, it's, like, you want to be fair, but then it's also not. Yeah, we, if it was just like that, you would want to replay them, but if you had three. Uh, just about played Optic on main stage in about half an hour. Just in the locker room, just had a couple of scrims against Spice. They're alright. Yeah, looking forward to our match. Pretty excited to play the best team in the world. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm not nervous or anything, just really keen. <laughs> Haven't played on a big stage or Sydney 2, Sydney. Main stage probably the biggest. So this will be pretty different considering it's like a whole big arena. Can we go up against the green wall? Should be a few people in the crowd. Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably relying on to take like two S and D's against them and respawn. But I reckon play that top. We can catch them off guard and take one, maybe two respawns. Monster streak, it's eight right now for Scump. You saw Prim with a seven streak. I think Form will hit that as well. Three, two, one. It's a hot 3 0 here for Optic Gaming. Just come in today, take care of business, and that's exactly what Optic Gaming has done here. Oh, we've seen it, we're like, oh, did the exact same thing too. Against another team, like another team that's not playing with you again, you probably got a good chance. Like, you don't understand. Right. So we wouldn't even worry about that. They'll, they'll win with, the whole comp play like. I'm telling you, literally three bullets. No, no, they'll win the whole comp easy play like. Don't play like that, eh? Yeah. There's no doubt. But any other team I reckon you had a good shot on. That's good. That's good. It's the last chance, part three. I guess. Here we go. Let's go, baby. Gasly, man. 
Here comes Mind Freak Black, Hopi leading the way. Shots up, does get dropped quickly by Proto. Super strong position there. These could be the final few moments, five points remaining, and this is it. The camo play is happening. There's no one from MF Black to get in there, and that is going to be game one, 250 to 205. Full credit to Mind Freak Black. They might have the way. All three members of E6 now turning up the final play for MF Black. This is going to keep him in the tournament. And Setsi, can he do it? One player, all it takes is a dunk, and he is going to get it with 20 seconds left. They're up by one. Now they need to hold on. This could be huge. 15 seconds remaining. The clock is ticking. Proto has the camo. He's actually going straight for it. He's going to go try to go for the one. The camo's almost out. He's going to go up. He's going to go high. He's going to get it in. They're taking this one to overtime now. They managed to hold it down. Mind Freak close to taking the map, but instead we are going to settle this in overtime, but camos have been burned on both sides. Who's going to win now? In the words of Chance, Camo OP. Wow. Two Camo plays, two game-changing moments, and now in overtime we will settle it. As well, but they've made the right play. They've pushed it away. He's away. They're out of position. Mind Freak of Black. This is the second time they're positioning his costume. They've gotten too aggressive, and it is a dunk in 41 seconds. Mind Freak had the advantage, but they didn't put enough pressure onto Lemon. And Lima Six saw there was nobody there. They needed to do so. They'd gone around the barn and just started throwing it down Main Street. It became an open lane, and they ran that all the way. Swift as all, shaking his head, disappointed. I think in his mind, the campaign is already over. They've got 41 seconds now to get two points. It has to be a dunk. Rory needs one kill for Kinetic. It wouldn't even surprise me if he ends up throwing out his Scarab to try and get it and then challenging mid. He's got his kill. He's got his Kinetic as well. Rory, he's gone down. Yeah, he's still up. He's going to go down as well. Cade Proto coming back into the mid here now. 21 seconds left to go. And they've actually pushed it into top food. This is over, surely. They've got Cade on it. Royalty's in there as well with him. I think it's done. It's the final 10, and this looks like it. They're going to be holding it here. Proto with that drone. He has ended the Australian and New Zealand APAC campaign here at COD Champs. It is going to be a 3 0 for E6. That is going to be it. Mind Freak Black. <laughs> Accepting the loss and uh, not getting the win, but I guess the win does. Uh, the loss does a lot more for you and your composure. And if you can actually bounce back from a loss, you'll learn a lot from it.
is the part most people don't see after it. There's been heaps of teams like that this weekend, just sitting out here for an hour on end, not talking to anyone. Look around. No, I had a shit series against Optic, even though they're the best team, but you know when you're playing well and you're playing well, but I was just playing you know, average and then coming up against E6, again, shit the bed first map, um, which we lost by you know 46 points. I would have won it if I picked it up. At s &D, I felt, I don't know, they just completely counted everything we did. I don't know if they watched VODs or something, but, you know, we couldn't do anything. Um, you know, a normal S&D just didn't work. And then the, the uplink, which is our worst game mode, we just pulled it together and played it good. And then, you know, we got a two-pointer with friggin', what, a couple of seconds to go, or 30, 17 seconds to go. Proto last alive, camos, throws a one. I friggin' thought I jumped as high as I could, and then the ball somehow goes over my head and in the portal. And then they win in overtime. Again, by a friggin' another throw. Threw it up over my head towards that base, and one of them somehow snuck through and then got a two pointer off it. So, it's just disappointing. Fucking, I don't know, it's just shit. And I can understand losing the optic, like E6 is a good team, but knowing that. We didn't play to our potential or anywhere near it. Same with myself, I'm gonna play anywhere near to my potential and we're losing two maps that are within, you know, the fingertips of our hands. It's just, it's just messed up, you know? It's just like, it's just so disappointing too, because like map four, if we can bounce back, started playing a lot better, started playing how I normally should. And you know, maybe if we forced that game five, if I got the intercept, we probably could have actually gone back and won that series, but just disappointing, man. Hey, it's sad. You know, it's just shit, you know. Now, n now knowing that's like you don't get a chance to prove yourself against the worst part. Like, you know, this game's done now. So, like, what do you what do you do? Like, you can't say, oh yeah, we'll play better next time because there isn't a next time. The comp's over. So, it's just one whole shit feeling. But regardless of that, I'm proud of the boys for the efforts this weekend. I mean, for what it was worth with this squad and the amount of practice that we actually got leading up to this event. You know, no international experience. This roster played one land together. Uh, you know, I'm proud of the boys, everyone played great. It's just, you know, it's one of those things that you're just gonna beat yourself up, with, uh, beat yourself up over for a while, so, yeah.